It's been a while since I had an Apple device in my pocket, but I have to admit, since I have the iPhone 11 Pro, I'm kind of mind blown from this device. Not because it's a great phone, but because it's a massive B-roll machine. Let me explain. So I went outside and I filmed a lot of B-rolls using the iPhone 11. I wanted to see if this phone can be used artistically as a camera for cinematic projects. I have to say I was kind of mind blown. Not only because the cameras themselves are amazing, but because of the workflow. After a few hours of filming, I was on the way home. I went to iMovie in the phone and created a kind of a very rough edit of what I needed. And then I came home and I airdropped it to the iMac and continue the project in Final Cut Pro. <laughs> what? As someone who is traveling the world, being able to edit on my phone is a game changer. That by itself makes the move to Apple worth it. Just this, but I have four more things for you. There is three cameras on this phone, as everybody knows. Apple had a pretty good try in trying to transition between the cameras. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it's a bit awkward. Here, for example, I zoomed in and the iPhone only zoomed in using the software. The telephoto lens is not active until now. I realized that with one quick fix, the transition between the cameras would look amazing. Here's a few examples. So how did I pull this off? Easy. I just cut the awkward transition that Apple made and I put my own transition effect, the fast zoom in, and it looks amazing. I did a whole video about my effects that is linked in the description, you can check it out. Back when I was in Thailand, I found this small USB converter. That thing is amazing. Connecting this thing to the iPad opens up the app and I could read what's inside the memory card. This is a GoPro clip that I filmed with my GoPro earlier. I can take this clip to iMovie, combine it with my iPhone footage and upload this whole project to Final Cut Pro and finish it. When I discovered this, this blew my mind even further. If you have this device, you notice that it doesn't support the iPhone 11 Pro and any other iPhone 11. But I found this cool trick that I thought would be worth sharing with you. If you rotate the device, the phone won't rotate with it. Normally, you can't really get the POV mode. But if you go to the app and put it on story mode and then come back to the iPhone camera app, you could use the rotation on the camera app. One more cool trick that I discovered about the Osmo Mobile. If you switch to vertical mode, this movement can be used as a transition. Double tapping. So the next tip is about the iPad Pro. I don't know how many people know that you could paint literally anything you want and have it appear in seconds through airdrop in your video. I don't know, I feel like all those features makes the whole Apple ecosystem just unbeatable. Team PC, I'm gonna pass the mic to you. 
I ain't tryna bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do, no matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you want it, man? You can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room like fire.